Mr. Sheffield, I have decided to pursue my lifelong dream and become a successful career woman. I finally have a direction, a goal, a clear path. I thought you wanted to get married and have children. Wait, are you asking? Because I could chuck that other pipe dream. <laughs> Well, back to my clear path. I am going to become a TV weather girl. I think that's the perfect job for you. Be wonderful at that. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Daddy, I love my lesson. I want to become a jockey. Oh, I think that'd be a perfect job for you. You'll be wonderful at that. Thank you. <laughs> what just happened to you? You were just humoring me, weren't you? You no more think that I could be a TV weather girl than you think Gracie could be a jockey. Well, of course I do. I mean, you're, you're beautiful and photogenic and she's short. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sheffield, I'm not a child. I'm gonna be 30. <laughs> now I can handle honesty. <laughs> No, Miss White, no, you can't. Well, why don't you just try me? I don't think you could be a TV weather girl. <laughs> well, let's start with your voice and a microphone. You know, there is a fine line between honest and cruel. No, oh, it's fine. It's unrealistic. I'm not being cruel, am I, Niles? Absolutely not, sir. She asked for the truth. <laughs> Niles! Sorry, Miss Fine, Christmas is coming. <laughs> well, I know what's going on here. You are just terrified that I might become immensely successful, leave you, and your whole world will fall apart. Well, now, that's a tad arrogant, don't you think? I wouldn't dream of keeping you here just to satisfy my own selfish needs. Oh, really? Well, then I got news for you. There is no hope for us, mister. <laughs> All right, what just happened here? Well, let's review, sir. <laughs>